apparently one of the most attractive podcasters who's the host of Call Her Daddy just signed a $60 million Spotify exclusive deal, which is uh, pretty cool to see. Now, that being said, I said that as a statement just because I've actually never seen what she looks like before. But um, I don't even know what her actual name is, right? We'll get into that in the story. But I just find it very interesting because I think I've only heard her once, like one episode once randomly. And it was just like her talking about a Gluck Gluck 9000 thing, which is, you know, interesting. But either way. I've never actually known what she looked like, and I have to say, just simply going to the news article, she's a very attractive lady, and the fact that she's very attractive just signed a massive amount of money for her exclusive Spotify deal. I think that's pretty amazing, because the thing is, that also goes to show you there's there's really no limits when it comes to podcasting, whether it be like, you know, what type of content you end up doing or not because think about it like i've never even like seen this girl right and there's probably a lot of people who've never even seen what she actually looks like right so you can literally create a massive massive brand with a whole bunch of people not even knowing what you look like right that's a pretty amazing thing to actually really see Right, and I do like how Spotify keeps doing these like exclusive deals because one, they make it a very big win-win situation between the creator and also Spotify. Right, so if I believe correctly, I believe Call Her Daddy, that podcast, Call Her Daddy, is actually one of the largest podcasts with a female audience. I believe. You know, you could prove me wrong in the comment section or. You know, just send us a message or something. But either way, her audience base is very massive. And so this is going to be very beneficial to Spotify because then, look, they basically got like an ni- almost a nearly 99% audience base with Joe Rogan of being male. And so if they have one of the largest podcasts in the world with a super high female base of Call Her Daddies, right, then they basically can bring in, you know, male and females of basically different genres, right, into the platform. So I think this is a great idea on Spotify's behalf. But then also, let's not mention, you know, like 60 mil, right, 60 mil talking into a mic, Like, how crazy is that? I mean, of course, you know, Joe Rogan had that crazy massive deal, but think about it. This call her daddy girl, right? Signed a $60 million deal. Like, that is such, like, life-changing amounts of money. But not only that, because if I remember correctly, because again, I've only like listened to like one episode of hers. If I remember correctly, her podcast would, for the most part, probably not really be well monetized in a lot of like uh, spectrums, right? In a lot of platforms, just because of the nature of her podcast, right? Where it's a very adult content focused, right? Or at least they cover those topics pretty often so this is actually really good for her podcast long term because one she gets a you know a crazy amount of money to the point where she could basically give people the finger right and just shove it up their butts because look you're going to try to cancel someone who has like a 60 million dollar deal right you're not really going to be able to do that not to mention she'll be able to like clip all of her content never filter herself on anything and then be able to share all that content everywhere and not care about what those end up making her because she secured basically her bank account <laughs> like she secured her money so well with this deal 
that basically she can say whatever she wants. She can pretty much have whoever she wants on her podcast. She could probably show whatever she wants on her podcast if she ends up having like a video like side of it with Spotify, which I believe Spotify is going to do as well. So like she could probably get into like a certain zone of basically being one of the most unfiltered female podcast in the whole world right and if that ends up happening i could see this 60 million dollars go nine figures very quickly right but let's get into the story because you know i think it's a very worthwhile thing to go over and see the details about this but either way this is so amazing to actually see someone pull this off especially a female creator pull something like this off because You've only seen Howard Stern or Joe Rogan doing these massive, massive exclusive deals. So to see a female be able to do a very exclusive high payout deal as well is pretty awesome to see. So let's get right into it. So you may choose to call her daddy, but now you have to listen to her on Spotify. Call Her Daddy, one of the world's most popular podcasts, is leaving Bartol Sports for an exclusive deal with the streaming service starting on July 21st. So the three-year Podbuster deal, so this is for three years for $60 million. Oh, man. So that means that's what? $20 million, $20 million, $20 million? Yeah, so $20 million per year. 20 million per year that is amazing that is so cool so okay so this is her name alex cooper's podcast which made many headlines over former co-host sophia franklin's dramatic departure last year which by the way if i remember correctly this girl basically kind of screwed herself in the whole situation like basically thinking that she was entitled to a whole bunch of stuff for like I think almost no reason. Da, 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 da. Okay, so so they will have all past episodes available on his new home, along with whatever comes next for her daddy gang. So Cooper twenty six concisely announced the major move in her next episode on the show's Instagram Tuesday with a post captioned. New season, new home, new episode. See you, obviously, it's fuckers at midnight. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so. So, host, yeah, okay, it's three new multi-million dollar deal, blah, blah, blah. So, Call Her Daddy has been on Barstool Productions since 2018 and available across streaming service, but come July, all... Future episodes and additional exclusive new projects in development will belong to Spotify, the company announced in a press release. From its start three years ago, the show has always been about challenging the status quo and manifesting conversations that previously only happened behind closed doors. Cooper said in Steamy, adding that she will continue raising the bar great with content and guests on her new platform. Call Her Daddy was also named the fifth most popular global podcast on Spotify at the end of 2020, shortly after the fallout with Franklin. The drama between the hosts, along with Barstool's David Portnoy, the pizza guy, surrounded HBO Sports. And executive Peter Suitman Nelson, who was reportedly involved in business negotiations between the hosts and Barstool. So both Cooper and Franklin wanted to make more of their meteoric rise to fame than Barstow was offering, but ended up going after each other as Nelson's involvement allegedly soured a potentially harmonious deal. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember now. This was the real person, the Peter Suitman Nelson, was really the one that ended up basically screwing that other girl completely out of the whole thing. So the duo stopped speaking, and Franklin exited the show to launch her own podcast, Sophia with an F, leaving Cooper as the solo host over the past few months, and in a row, she's literally taken to new financial heights. I'd say so. And also, never heard of this podcast ever before, which most people probably haven't. But either way, what Cooper's doing, what I think Alex Cooper's doing, is uh, pretty amazing, honestly. 
feel free to give your thoughts but i think this is a pretty amazing thing to uh see that a girl was able to pull off and honestly this is like amazing for any single individual but it's just you don't really see that many women get something this exclusive at this high level and it's really cool to see like it's very cool to see something like this but feel free to give your thoughts i think this is a pretty amazing thing and i mean here's the thing right i really hope she has a very good understanding or at least a comfortable understanding about how to manage her money because this is basically almost the equivalent of winning the lottery right like this amount of money is the equivalent of winning a lottery yes she's gonna have to work hard she's gonna have to keep on creating awesome content for her audience but at the same time i really hope that she manages her money well because look 20 million dollars per year sounds like a lot but when you are in this kind of like field that she is in which is like a very influencer type of field and having people and like friends around her in that space you start to get you know, like it may not be necessarily her personality but all those influences are going to basically rub off on her and end up potentially getting into her habits that will end up destroying this money right so i hope she's able to master her money if anyone's listening to this that needs help mastering their money and they need a simple easy to follow plan go down below and learn the secret to mastering your money or go check out 40inbox.com so we can help you find the right path for you because here's the thing again this is a lot of money but it's not surprising to hear someone who makes this amount of money in a very big deal end up spending all of their money. So I really hope she understands her finances or is comfortable enough with managing her money. Because here's the thing. Like, it would be so sad to hear anything like this in the future where, let's say, her or somebody else in this situation gets this massive windfall and then loses it all, right? Like, you don't want to see that, right? Because if she manages her money right, right, she can keep doing her Call Her Daddy podcast forever, right? She could literally do her podcast forever, and never have to fucking care about what's going on in her life. So that's something to really keep in mind. And if she ever ends up stumbling upon this, I really hope that you manage your money well and do some amazing things because I think it's super cool to see a lady do something awesome like this. Peace out.